everyone, it's Nisha. So today I've got a new wig for you and this is Raquel Welch Big Time in Shaded Biscuit, of course. So this is straight from the box. As you can see, it's a bit flat. It doesn't look how I want it to look, but that's pretty normal because if you imagine they come straight from the manufacturer and they've been stuck in a box, squashed in a box. So first thing you need to do is turn it inside out and shake it just to loosen up the fibers. Uh, but before we go into it, let's have a look at the cap on this wig. So on big time, we've got the wefted stretchy cap We've got temple to temple lace front and this is what gives you the natural hairline. Also full monofilament which means that you can part your hair anywhere in this area to give you the appearance of natural scalp. Velvet bendable ear tabs. You also have velvet extended nape extended nape is very good because imagine if the wig just finished here the hair at the back could be sticking out that helps the hair to lie more flat at the back and of course elasticated adjustable straps okay so big time is i would call it a shaggy bob because it is pretty much the same length maybe it's a bit longer at the back but it is a very layered style can you see how short the layers are up here and that's what will give you probably more volume i quite like how the hair flips up um, this is probably the length of my own hair so i like it straight away because it looks like me and of course it's in my favorite color of all times, Shaded Biscuit. Shaded Biscuit, because you can get biscuit as well, which means it won't have the root. I love the root on it. It's like a mid-brown. And then you have all these beautiful highlights and lowlights. This is a cool blonde, definitely cool blonde, but it does have a bit of warmth in it. I'm sure you can see um a bit like very light golden blondes through it it is not as cool as the john renault palm springs blonde that one is just ash 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 okay so most wigs come parted on the left side but as you can see i've already moved the parting to the right because that's how I prefer to part my wigs although sometimes the style is arranged in such way that it lays better on the left and if it looks good then I leave it so let's play with this wig a bit this wig has a bit of permatease can you see if I go like this I can make it really huge but I like permatease it obviously doesn't have as much permatease as Noriko wigs, but it has some permatease. The fibers look and feel beautiful because it's true to life fiber. Um, so you need to start playing with this wig and arrange it in a shape that you want it. You should always have a wig comb. This one is from John Renault. Let's brush it first and see what we've got. So as I've said, you have a lot of shorter layers. Look how short these layers are here. And I quite like how this flips. In fact, my own hair does that. When it gets to this length, if I blow dry it straight, but then if I you know, walk around for a bit or the next day, it will flip flip out but I think this is quite cute so I would so I've already changed my parting and you know because this is full monofilament so wherever you part in this area you will have the appearance of real scalp so you can part it in the middle you might have to train it a bit but look this one actually stays quite okay in the middle i've never had a middle parting i don't know if i like it and of course you can have it parted 
on the left. Hmm, looks quite nice on the left as well. So yes, you've got all these options. Let's have a look at the lace front because you know Raquel Welch lace fronts are amazing. So there is your lace front. As you can see, it's so natural. It just looks like the hair is growing out of your head. And as always with Raquel Welch, she always puts all the lightest um, highlights around your face because I think that's quite flattering. Even if you have the darker colors that are mixed with some sort of rusty, Obens, they will always have the lighter colors around the face. I quite like it actually on the left. Yeah, I'm sure this wig has more permatis than some of my others, but I'm quite happy about it, you know, because I deal with flat hair myself. My hair is very flat, so to me, to have body in my hair is everything but you know you can easily tame it it's only when you go in in it like this look I can make it huge <laughs> so if you're into that you can do it no problem so yeah there isn't much to this style much more you know it's beautiful as it is it's like so ready to wear let me show her to you from the all from all sides so of course you've got that front i really like it i think it's very it's not like really polished like a helmet hair but it looks quite sophisticated so that's the front This is the left side. This is the right side. And then let's have a look at the back. I won't be able to see it. <laughs> and that's the back. I love this wig. I love this wig because I don't have to do anything to it. For some reason, it uh, doesn't matter which way I part it, it looks nice, it looks fine. Um, I love, love these shorter, uh, that shorter fringe or bangs, whatever you call it, because I think that frames your face really nicely and you can, you know, arrange it to go round your face or you can flip it like this it's just beautiful and it looks so so natural i sometimes like to pull my hair a bit here on the side so you know if the wind blows you don't see that very even hairline because no one has a well maybe some people do but i don't <laughs> we usually have quite irregular hairline so I quite like to pull out some hairs um, not here because where you've got the lace front you obviously don't need it and I wouldn't recommend to pull your fringe through here because lace would just squash it it just would not look right you can pull your hair at the front with wigs that don't have a lace front like you've seen me doing it with Jackson Noriko but here you can pull a bit of your own hair because you see that looks just so natural then and especially if you're wearing a wig that is your natural hair color and you know i've got roots as well the cap feels very very comfortable i haven't even adjusted it and um, this cap is average size but you know each manufacturer has each brand, you know, like, I don't know, John Reno's average cap won't be the same as Raquel Welch average cap or Ellen Villa. Um, Noriko's, um, Noriko wigs come up quite small. So even though they say they're average to me, they are petite. They, I've got small head, but Noriko wigs, well, I've tried only a couple, but those two, um, were quite snug on my head so 
bear that in mind but of course this one has very very stretchy cap and I didn't have to adjust it I, I could maybe adjust it a tiny bit but it feels fine it's very comfortable um, one thing you need to take to consideration of course that this is true to life fiber and I always talk about it um, these wigs are a bit more expensive but also I would say they don't last as long but you have to compromise because the true to life fiber looks true to life there it feels like hair um, is not shiny it's just very very natural looking these wigs just require a bit more looking after especially long ones this one is not so long so you shouldn't get unless you're wearing it with scarves or jackets with hoods because when you start getting friction at the back that's when this true to life fiber gets a bit matted and sticky therefore it is very important that if you're wearing it all day throughout the day give it a brush gently brush through so you separate those fibers and you don't let them to mat too much um, also, every time you take your wig off, give it a spray with the leave-in conditioner and then just gently brush through and just put it on your wig head and leave it. I look after my wigs. I know that if I wear a um, True to Life wig all the time, I definitely can feel the stickiness. I don't even know how to explain. It's almost like the fibers stick together. And yes, you can bring them to life again when you wash your wig, but yes, they definitely don't last so long. So, you know, I don't wear wigs on a daily basis. I wear them just when my hair is looking rubbish and <laughs> I can't be bothered to do it and I put it on or if I want to look especially nice because there's no way that doesn't matter how much I would blow dry my hair I would get that much volume and it would stay like that all day uh, but yes those wigs I would keep for more like special occasions unless you are really really good at looking after them properly Yes, you can see how this is layered because if I grab all this hair, there is not much hair here because it's so heavily layered that all the volume from the layers is at the top. But I quite like that. Um, and actually that might stop this wig matting so much because there isn't that much hair uh, here at the nape. I love this wig. I think the color is all also very important, you know, because I'm sure I wouldn't like this wig um, in black. I think if you're starting off with wigs, your first wig should be the closest to your natural color, how you used to yourself in what color, because that will help you transition from, you know, not wearing wigs to wearing wigs. And then when you're comfortable enough, then you can start experimenting with colors. I've been, you know, wearing wigs for three years now and I still cannot get used to dark wigs. I just don't feel myself, don't feel they suit me. Uh, that's why I always go for the cooler blondes. I have some warmer blondes and they, some look better than others, but I'm always drawn to the cooler blondes. Okay, my lovely, so this was big time barakel world let me know what you think about this one shall i have it on the left or on the right do you know i think that it actually looks better on the left so i think with this wig i'm going it, it has that lovely swoop here so I think I'm going to leave that one on the left. Okay, my lovelies, tomorrow uh, you will see another Raquel Welch wig review. But for now, that's all. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.